What up folks, it's Alex here. It's Friday again already, so I'm back with another 5 Minute Friday. Now within the newly updated DaVinci Resolve 16, they've actually made the video stabilizer a whole lot easier to find. So that's what we're gonna have a look at today. I'm gonna to show you how to take jerky handheld footage like this and turn it into super smooth footage like this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you found this video useful. Let's boot open DaVinci Resolve and we'll take a look, shall we? So here we are in DaVinci Resolve and we're on the Edit tab. You can't yet do this within the Cut tab, so you will need to be on Edit. And I've already added some footage to my timeline. Now the first thing you need to do is to open your inspector. So it will appear on the right hand side. If, like me, yours isn't open, you just need to click on this icon here in the top right hand corner. Then from this list, double click on Stabilization. Now if yours is all greyed out, it's just because it's inactive, all you need to do is click on this toggle here to activate the stabilization. Now, the thing to bear in mind with stabilization is there's no right or wrong answer and every single bit of footage will require different settings in here to get the best result. So the first button we've got here is stabilize. This one's obvious, this will analyze and then stabilize your footage using the parameters you've set out below. And then we've got mode. And there's three options, perspective, similarity, and translation. Now, according to the DaVinci Resolve guidance notes, perspective enables perspective, pan, tilt, zoom, and rotation stabilization. Similarity is pan, tilt, zoom, and rotation. And then translation. This just enables pan and tilt, i.e. just the X and Y stabilization, up, down, left, right. From experimenting with this myself, the best bet, generally speaking, is to select perspective first of all, try it, if that doesn't work, then start experimenting with the other two. Now before I show you what any of these settings do, I just want to stabilize this clip so I can show you how the stabilizer works. So I'm going to select the clip on my timeline and then I'm just going to hit stabilize. Resolve or analyze and then stabilize your footage. Now as you can see straight away, what it's done is it's moved my footage over to the right hand side and we've got a little bit of cropping or black area over on the left. So we're just going to hit play and we'll show you why. Now as you can see, what Resolve is doing is moving your clip around the frame in order to eliminate the movement. So it's trying to compensate for the movement by moving the footage around. And by doing so, it's leaving empty spaces around the edges. Now this is where these settings come into play. So first up, we've got cropping ratio. This dictates how much of your footage you're willing to lose. 0.25 is the greatest value. If I grab this slide and put it over to the right hand side to one, which is the lowest setting and hit stabilize and play it again, you can see this time around, there's basically zero cropping. Now because of zero cropping, that also means there's basically zero stabilization. So I want this at the greatest setting, hit stabilize again, and there we go. So you're allowing Resolve to move the footage around the most, which will result in the greatest amount of stabilizing. Underneath that you have smooth. Smooth values from 0.25, it's lowest setting, so the opposite to the cropping ratio, to one. It will smooth things out without actually trying to eliminate the movement. Now again, the greater the smoothing, the more cropping you're going to have. And last up, we've got strength. Strength is basically how strong you want the stabilization to be. One is full strength. Right in the middle here is zero, which basically means none. And you can also go all the way down to minus one here. In minus one, if I stabilize this, rather than moving the frame to compensate for the movement, it will move the frame along with the movement, resulting in even more movement. It's basically doing the opposite to what you'd expect the stabilizer to do. So I'm gonna put this right up to one and stabilize. Now the best thing to do for these settings is just to experiment. If I need lots of stabilization, I'll put the cropping ratio all the way to the left, which is the greatest value, smooth to one, strength to one, leave it on perspective and then stabilize. Now obviously, it's been moving the footage around the frame, resulting in these black edges, which we don't want. So what you need to do then is click on zoom. So if I pop a tick in here, what 
Resolve will do is zoom in to crop off or cut off those missing areas. So then you won't see the footage actually moving around the frame. You'll just see the stabilized result like so. But just bear in mind, the greater these values, the more cropping is going to occur. And last but not least, there's camera lock. Camera lock will actually attempt to remove all camera movement. This is only really useful for steady shots. If you've been trying to hand hold your camera to get a static shot of something and you've sort of moved slightly, then you can use camera lock. If there's any intentional camera movement, like you're walking on panning, then leave camera lock well alone. So experiment. There's no right or wrong answer. Yes, it's a little bit confusing at first, but once you have a play with it, it'll all start to make sense. Hopefully, this has given you enough information to get you going.